Hello everyone, it's me Andrei Kemipuzi and you're still watching the course about the best multiplayer in GTA 5, Rage MP. Today is lesson number 5 and we will talk about the data, how to store it, how to use it and how to transfer it. Also, in the previous lesson we didn't discuss uh, the procedures, the RPC, so today we will also talk about it, because uh, we think that it's a really important thing. So, there's a three ways how to store data inside our entity in Rage MP. First of all, it's just a simple dictionary. There's two things that we can use. It's uh, just set data, get data, and uh, external data. Set external data and uh, get external data. The only difference between them is uh, that when we're using get data and set data, we need to provide the string key. And when we're using external data, we need to provide the integer key. I mean, the number. So we will discuss in this lesson only the string keys, but uh, for sure we will use external data later. The second way, the second way is a shared data. Um, interaction with uh, shared data is uh, made by the methods get shared data and set shared data. And the difference uh, with uh, the simple data is that we can access this data not only in our server, but also in our client. And uh, all clients of uh, our server can access this data of, spe of specific entity. And the third way is uh, own shared data. It's almost the same as a shared data, but the only thing, only feature that only the user or, yeah, only the user, only this client who has this data can access this data. Okay, let's start just from a simple data. For imagine if you want to create the command that will spawn like the personal vehicle. so. If we are not the owner of this vehicle, it will warp us out away. So let's just create the new class in our server site and uh, call it private vehicle. Let's inherit it from script as always and create the simple command. So we are using the command private void mm, my vehicle. Player, player. So, now what we need to do? First of all, we will create the car. Not be vehicle, create vehicle. For example, it will be vehicle dot, oops, sorry. It will be other vehicle hash, yeah. Vehicle hash dot other. Player dot position. Player dot rotation. 131, 131. Okay. Now, how we want to do to how, what we need to do to make it personal. First of all, let's store it in some variable var vehicle. The next thing we need to set the data for this vehicle just to accept only our player. So let's create the new data identifier. So it will be private static string private vehicle p e, name of private vehicle game. You can provide what you want here. It's not really matter. So it's private. So we need to use this name convention. So now we need to set this data in this vehicle. So we set data and use private vehicle key. And we will store here player social club ID, for example. It's the Unique code that is only ass assignable to one player. Now, we need to check, we need to use the server event. For example, event on player uh, enter vehicle. We need to use player enter vehicle. So we need to check what this is giving to us. Client vehicle and set ID, okay. It's already made everything for us, <laughs> almost. But that's not what that's not what we want to use. So, if uh, vehicle, now we need to check is this car is personal or not. We can make it like if the method has data and provide here the key of this data. So if vehicle has data, the our private vehicle key, and vehicle get data, we will store your int as I remember yes. You long, sorry. And get data, you long private vehicle key not equals to 
player.socialclubid. Then we will player sent chat message. It's not your car. And for example, player warp warp out of vehicle. Return. So the system is ready. Now we can try to test it. So I joined the server with Misha, and now if you'll create the cars with my vehicle command. That's my car. And waiting until he will create the car. So as you can see, he created the car. And if I will try to sit in, it will warp me out. Because it's his car. Yep, it's working. Now let's talk about the sharing data. First of all, let's remove this return. It's uh, redundant here. So we need to make some system that we will set in our server side some information and we will retrieve it in our client side. So for example, let's create a simple level system. For example, level. Let's inherit it from script. And uh, what we're gonna do? Here event, when the player will Player connect. When the player will enter uh, the server, we will just randomize the level for him. And next, uh, we will just make a simple thing. When we will press some key on our client side, it will retrieve this data and uh, show it to us. So we are using one player connected method. Not the client, but player. Now let's just set um, private static string level key name of level key. Yes. So to use the shared data, we need to use methods set shared data. Let's make like this set shared data get shared data and has shared data. Also there's a reset, uh, but I'm usually not using it. Because if you need to store some information only once, it's better to use just in events. So we are using set shared data. We need to provide key here. So it's level key. And the next thing is that in shared data, we can use, uh, we can store only the basic types of variables. So if you want to store some object, first of all, you need to stringify, I mean, uh, serialize it with JSON. So don't forget about it when you are using the shared data. So what we're going to do, we'll create the new random here. Next. Sorry, we need to import the reference. Yeah, system. So, and we will just randomize it from 0 to 100. Okay, so we set the data in our series site. Now we want to make something with this shared data on our client side. So let's imagine, for example, we will bind the new thing. So rage, rage dot input dot bind, for example, to F4 button. True. So we'll create the new method here. For example, it will be level notifier, and uh, we will just type in our chat information of the, I mean, not the information, all levels of all players in our server. So we will call it level notifier. And now we need to create a private static string level key. That's the key of our shared data. Level key. Okay. Now we need to access the pool of all players. So what we need to do is uh, rage.elements.entities.players. So that's how we can access all players in, uh, I mean, all pool of the pool of the all players in our server. So let's like do for each var player in uh, rich elements players and it is players. Okay, sorry, that's my mistake. So we need to use all here to make it like a list, not the entity pool. So what we're gonna do is uh, just output in our chat the information. So chat output. Okay, how are we gonna make it? We'll use first of all here player.name, then two like this, and player level. But to access it, we need to player get shared data. What we are retrieving is uh, the integer. And uh, what is the key is a uh, level key. 
Okay, now we can test it. Oops, sorry. Right here. Yes, now we can test it. Now also let's test the thing about uh, the levels. So if I'll pull, if I'll press F4 key, it will tell us the levels of our players. So my nickname here is Weird Newbie. It's 60, and Tyler Brighton is my friend uh, level. It's 83. So yep, it's working. Okay, now let's try to use the own shared data. So let's create, for example, the simple wallet in our server site. Like this, and we will also inherit it from script. So let's create the some some comments. So comment uh, give money and get money. Okay, get money. Uh, private void get money player player and for example some amount oops in some amount also let's create another command command spend money private void spend money so we will use uh, the own it shared data or own shared data and to, to use it, we also need to provide some key. For example, let's create private static string own shared key, own money key, could be better, own money key equals to name of, of own money key. So usually when we're using set data, get data or shared data, uh, we can use the method get uh, has shared data or has data. And it will tell us, uh, is there any like any fields in this dictionary of information or not. Same as we used in our vehicle. So if vehicle has data, so uh, we, are, we are making the next things. But in all shared data, this thing is broken. And how we want to check it now, how we need to check it now, we, we should use get own shared data, for example, integer on money key, but it could be nullable, so we need to provide here like the nullable, uh, the question mark. So we're making this integer nullable and checking is it null or not. And if it will be null, we will just player set uh, on shared data on money key zero. And then we will make all our next things. So uh, the copilot automatically telling me what they want to do here. So it's uh, setting the own shared data and just getting it and uh, like increasing it by amount. Yeah, sorry for my English. <laughs> so let's uh, make the same with uh, the spent money. So, oops. If player get own shared data int own money key equals to null. We'll just player set own shared data, own money key, zero. Now let's check if player get own shared data by int. Now it's not null for sure, not null for sure. Uh, less than amount. You know, just player send chat message. You don't have enough money and return you. Yeah. And otherwise, we will just uh, player set own shared data own money key player get own shared data minus amount yeah like this so we created the simple wallet system we can add some money and spend some money but uh, for what you, you can ask me so we use it to retrieve the information in our client um Something is wrong with, oh yeah, like this. So just to retrieve the information in our client and only our client who has this data can access this data. So let's go back to our client. And for example, we will create the notifiers about did we spend some money or did we earn some money? For this, we will use the next thing of our lesson is data handler. So first of all, let's create the same key private static static string own money key 
equals to name of own money key. And now we need to use the data handler. So the thing of data handler is, it's just checking the shared data or own shared data for changes. And if it's triggering, it will tell us what's wrong or how it's uh, changed. So what we need to do is rage events at data handler. Now we need to provide the key. First of all, it's own money key. And now we need to create the delegate. So we will create the method uh, and we will call it money handler. So here we need to check is the entity entity is player. So if entity is rage elements player, but we will use equals to false, we will just return. Otherwise, we will parse the arc and alt arc. So the arc is the current data and the alt arc, alt argument is the previous data that was here. So we need to use var new money equals to casting from uh, object to integer arc. And the next thing is old money, almost the same. Now let's just use the simple check. If new money more than old money, we will just type uh, cut output you earned some money. And let's just type the amount. Amount will be oops, new money, new money minus the old money. Otherwise, you'll just chat output. You spent some money, spent some money, amount, old money minus uh, new money like this yes no no yes like this so that's all now we can test it now let's test the data handler so if we will use get money 50 it will automatically tell us that we earned some money and give us the amount that we earned also if we will use the spend money comment for example 100 it will tell us that we don't have enough money and if we will uh, provide the normal amount, for example, 25, it will tell us the amount that we spent. So yep, handlers are working. So this is the end of the lesson. And as we promised you, we will give you the small homework and you can uh, send your like solution in our Discord server and we will review it and give some comments. Probably we'll make a small video about it. I don't know. We will decide how it will be going. It's the first experience of making the homeworks. So your homework is, uh, we already have the command my vehicle, my veh, and it's creating the like personal car for you. So you need to do that uh, if you will type this command, it will check is there already your vehicle or not. And is uh, if the vehicle already exists, you need to delete it and spawn the new one. So to delete the vehicle, you need to use veh.delete method. But other stuff, like how to detect it and uh, other things, you need to make by your own. So today we discussed uh, all about data, about uh, shared data, about local data, own shared data. Also we discussed the data handlers and procedures. It's really important things and uh, I think we will work a lot with them in the future. Also, that's the last lesson about like the basics, basics, only the API uh, stuff. From the next lesson, we will start to make like the real server things like authorization, storing some data, probably player customization system, player editor and other stuff. So don't forget to subscribe, press your like. Also, share this video with your friends. See you into the next lesson. Goodbye.